Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, working with definition queries. Let's get started. I'm here in Travis County, and that's in Texas, also encompassing the city of Austin. I've chosen census tracts because they have a unifying geo ID that I could utilize in multiple queries. The first two digits are my state, which is Texas, and then my Travis County, 453, are the next digits. These first five digits are what I'm going to utilize in my queries to change my boundaries. This is very useful for data management or even cartography. So let's take a look under the hood. You can double click or right click go to properties to view your definition queries. You'll see that in ArcGIS Pro, you can now have more than one query. However, you can only have one active at a time. Currently, I have the Travis County and you can see here at the bottom right that this indicates it's active. If I were to make it inactive and then select OK, my entire census tract for Texas is now visible. So if I want to reinstate my query, I can either double click and return to properties, or I can quickly go to the feature layer tab here at the top, click my data ribbon, and pull this drop down. Here I can select my definition query. You'll notice that now it's been reapplied. Definition queries can share names across layers. So in the case of my census tract, I can also have my block group sharing the same query. And since they share the query, I can grab both of these and activate and deactivate them by also navigating to the data ribbon and telling it none. In which case you can now see all of my block groups and census tracts. Note that the census tracts are no longer queried to the county. I can easily select and then return them to the same query. In ArcMap, to utilize more than one query or to turn off a query, you have to double click the properties and erase your query, or that you copy and paste them into perhaps a text file. In addition to data management or exploration, you can use queries for cartography purposes. You'll notice that I have two county outlines. One is gray and excludes Travis County, and the other is a black hollow outline that is my focus point. I'm going to use my bookmarks and navigate over to Harris County. You may be familiar with the city of Houston, but right now, because my query is for Travis, it's being grayed out. Instead of having to duplicate these layers, I merely duplicated their queries and adjusted them for Harris County and then renamed them so that they both have Harris County as their query name. When selecting, like magic, now my new focal point is Harris County. I can do the same for my census boundaries by grabbing, selecting, and voila. Let's explore our county subdivisions layer properties and the two definition queries. If I wanted to rename these, I can simply click here in the title box. Or if I wanted to save, I can click on the save file and choose a location. In addition to saving, I can also add definition queries via file the same way. Keeping in mind that you can only have one active query at a time, you may want to explore creating queries with SQL, which allows you to use things like where clauses. To remove extra queries, you simply have to click the X. So let's recap. You can navigate to which query you wish to activate from within the properties, or you can utilize the data ribbon and navigate to the left side to view which queries are available to your layer, as well as deactivate by selecting none. In addition, these queries do not have to be identical. Notice that I have a query for GeoID like, and when I go and pull my county query, I have a GeoID not like. These can be on different fields as well so long as query names are the same. And while you can only have one active query, you could have multiple clauses within these definition queries. Keep in mind when saving a layer file, only the active query will be retained. However, if you choose to save a map file, it will store the various queries within those layers. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Teslabytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.